The Provo Mystic Mage is a hybrid build which retains the best features of the summoner and adds the powerful bard skill of provocation. In addition, my character has skill jewelry equipped which enables the use of a seventh skill, and I have an imbued studded leather suit which does away with the need for meditation. Mysticism, Majory, and Spell Weaving are the only skills required for the summoner to function, granting the lowest slot summons at the maximum summon duration. If these skills are Grandmaster, in general the timers are reduced. Focus is not required, however having Legendary Focus gives the Colossus 120 in all their combat skills, and it also gives some passive mana and stamina gains. With no other skills, the only benefits lost compared to a pure summoner are the mana recovery options of Ethereal Form and the 5-minute Ethereal Burst. However, Mysticism's Mastery, Nether Blast, can still be used as an alternative to Refresh Mana. Nether Blast requires being relatively close and generally facing the target, however there is no cooldown, and it performs the same task as Ethereal Burst if the target has mana. Studded Leather Armor has a hidden 3% lower mana cost, and with a suit imbued with lower mana cost, mana regeneration, possibly mana increase, and obviously lower reagent cost, meditation is not required. The goal is 55 lower mana cost and 20 to 30 mana regeneration. Imbued Skill Jewelry provides 45 skill points each, for a total of 90. With the Skill Jewelry, my character has 105 in Majory and Evaluate Intelligence, which is high enough to cast Elementals and Summon Creature most of the time, and still do substantial spell damage and curse effectively, and have 120 in Focus. Skill Jewelry is not required, but it enables the use of an additional skill. Also, I can either use a Tome of Lost Knowledge, which gives plus 15 to Majory, to raise it up to 120, or use other items such as luck gear. This leaves enough room on my skill cap of 720 to add 120 in real provocation and musicianship skill. Provocation is overcapped to 130 by the Holy Grail quest reward, the Minstrel's Cloak of Inducement. An option is to utilize two other skills of choice, but remember that Necromancy and Spirit Speak affect the duration and slots of the Colossus. My character has the Mysticism Mastery enabled to access Nether Blast, or I can use Provocation Mastery to gain Inspire, to increase the summon's damage and my spell damage, at the cost of losing part of the Enchanted Summoning Dispel bonus passive, and any active way to recover mana other than passively and mana regeneration, which isn't an issue if using just a few key spells such as Curse, Wildfire, Healing, and Summons. It is of course important to always cast Arcane Empowerment prior to any summon to reduce its chance of being dispelled. In practice, my summon pets were not frequently dispelled even though I didn't have the enchanted summoning passive. Another option is to use peacemaking for its mastery buffs, which include mana and other regenerations and damage reduction plus much more, for all pets and my character. Having two spell songs active can drain the mana pool, so one or both may need to be switched off at times to let mana regeneration be effective. The addition of Provocation to the Mystic Mage makes this build more powerful and lower risk, requiring little more than a Slayer instrument and a Spellbook. If you find this content helpful, please consider subscribing or giving a like.